We just finished testing the Cruiser Sport Series 208. Now I know what you're thinking, cruisers, don't they build yachts? You, well, yeah, they do. But starting two years ago, they started building trailerable boats as well. And the 208 is now the new baby of the bunch. But I'll tell you what, it sure rides big. It's powered by Volvo Penna 5.0, which puts out 270 horsepower and it gave us really good performance with this package. We were on plane in 3.3 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 7.8 seconds with a top speed of 52.4 miles an hour. Now one thing you really notice, we're in Green Bay, Wisconsin, not too far from Malambo Field, about a 40 minute drive, and it got a little rough out in the main uh, part of the bay today. We're, we found a nice quiet cove to tape here, but. Uh, we were really slamming over some pretty good sized waves and you really notice how solid this thing feels. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Well John, <clears throat> you think of cruisers yachts, you know you're thinking ginormous, ultra luxurious. Sure. And for after 60 years, they're going kind of a different direction absolutely. with this one, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is what we're on today is the 208 Cruiser Sport Series. And um, from now, we have the pro full product offering from 20 feet all the way up to 54 feet. Now, this might be the smallest boat in the fleet, but this is one of the biggest swim platforms I've ever seen. Yeah, you know, the nice thing about the 208 is uh, it's a full beam swim platform uh, that allows you to get on and off the boat easy. Um, it gives you security back here, and let's face it, in a 20-footer, this is where you spend a lot of your time. Yeah. I like uh, how you can get in this boat, too. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, what you've got here is a stainless steel three-step telescoping ladder uh, off the starboard side. The reason that it's here is to get it away from the stern drive from a safety standpoint. Uh, you've got a, your uh, tow eye here on the transom, and then where I'm sitting here, you can also pick up this backrest, pull this out. And you can take now your flat area and make a lounging uh, resting area on the transom. Nice. Uh, what we've done here is by hinging this, now you can flip this up and you have non-skid uh, starboard material for getting in and off the starboard side and it's on the same side as your swim ladder. Well, let's use it and check out the cockpit. Here. Absolutely. Uh, John, tell me about the engine compartment. The engine that we are seeing here is a 270 horse V8 Volvo Penta. And um, what we did is to accommodate access into your batteries and checking your fluids easy enough is we put the whole seat transom sun lounge that covers the engine on two stainless steel struts and on a lever here so you can easily get at it and flip it up to get at the top of your engine and, and service uh, mechanicals. The other unique thing is to take the whole engine out, this whole fiberglass base is a secondary part that you can um, unhinge oh, nice. yeah. and pull out to get at the front of the engine and to, if you had to do major repairs. Right. Yep. Uh, John, tell me about the upholstery here. This is very unique. Yeah, what you're looking at here, Alan, is our latte color seating. And what it is, is it gives you three different color schemes. Um, it gives you a, a chocolate, dark chocolate um, treatment with uh, piping. And then it takes a, a latte color vinyl and blends it in with a latte color silver text. And of course, uh, standard throughout the Cruiser Sport Series is the dry fast foam, which is beneath your, your seat skin. Yeah, it's really comfortable too. Yeah. I like this little rise for your thighs here. Yep, yep. John, this wheel really matches the upholstery too. It's a nice look. Yeah, what uh, again, bringing into the uh, Bow Rider series, we wanted again identity from the yacht side of it. So, what you'll see here is a cruiser's yacht's emblem identifying the yacht touch and feel. Um, what we also have here at the dashboard is carrying in the top stitch silver text over the gauges. You've got uh, digital gauges here which give you your RPMs, mile per hour, oil, fuel, temp, and your voltage. Uh, you've got your trim gauge on the starboard side and your standard depth gauge on the port side of your gauge cluster. You know, we were talking earlier about the, you know, the crossover from the yacht division to the, yeah. to the ser uh, sport series. And you know, one thing we could notice, it was kind of rough out in Green Bay a little earlier. Yeah. And uh, 
we were banging around pretty good. Oh, I right. noticed this thing was rock solid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, when, it, when it comes to carrying the uh, message through to the sport series, um, the big thing is, is we're a yacht builder building yacht-like runabouts. And, and again, in rough seas, you'll feel that instantly in the lamination schedule, the fit and finish, how our fiberglass parts are attached and come together around the gunnel molding, um, uh, right down to the backup plates uh, for your cleats and the structure, structural items that you can't see on the surface. Well, something I hardly ever see is a halon system for the engine compartment. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous for a boat this size. Yeah, the halon system is standard in our yachts, and it's brought down through all of the sport series right into our 20-footer. Now, this is a bow rider. we got to check out the bow rider in Absolutely. section. Absolutely, we got to get forward. John, a couple of six-footers up here. we got plenty of room. Absolutely. Uh, again, for a 20-foot um, bow rider, what you have up here is seating um, large enough for, like you said, six foot, two six-foot people to stretch out facing forward. Uh, you've, you'll find recessed into the combing boards uh, two standard speakers, uh, pop-up cleat standard, and then beneath the seating that we're actually sitting on right now is storage in this area. And in that storage area, you'll find uh, plenty of room for your bow cover, your bow post, and life jackets, uh, lines, fenders, all, right. up, all that can store forward so you're not taking up uh, room in the, in the cockpit. No, all we need is a driver and we're ready to go, man. Absolutely. For more information on the Cruiser's 208 Sport Series and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.